Welcome to the TxDOT Beaumont District U.S. Highway 69 State Highway 73 Interchange Virtual Public Meeting Video. This project area is along U.S. Highway 69 from 39th Street north to Jimmy Johnson Boulevard, 75th Street, and State Highway 73 from Spur 215 East to 9th Avenue near Port Arthur in Jefferson County. My name is Octavio Sainz, the Public Information Officer for the FAR District, and I will be serving as your TxDOT presenter. On behalf of the Textile Beaumont District and Adam Jack, the Director of Transportation Planning and Development for the Beaumont District, thank you for joining us and expressing your interest in the proposed U.S. Highway 69 State Highway 73 Interchange Project. Your participation in this public outreach event is a critical part of the project development and provides an important Your participation in this public outreach event is a critical part of project development and provides an opportunity for TxDOT to share project information with stakeholders, roadway users, and the general community and to encourage the public to provide comments about the proposed US 69 SH 73 interchange project. Given the unique circumstance of the COVID-19 outbreak, along with our commitment to protecting public health during this national emergency, TxDOT is conducting this virtual public meeting to avoid in-person contact. At this time, the online format will be in lieu of an in-person public meeting. The presentation will cover the same information the Beaumont District would have shared at an in-person public meeting. However, the comment process will be different and that will be explained shortly. All project information can be found on the TxDOT website. Prior to December 16, 2014, the Federal Highway Administration, otherwise known as FHWA, reviewed and approved documents prepared under the National Environmental Policy Act, known as NEPA. However, on December 16, 2014, the Texas Department of Transportation assumed responsibility from the FHWA for reviewing and approving certain assigned NEPA environmental documents. This Memorandum of Understanding was renewed on December 9, 2019. This review and approval process applies to this proposed project. Notices for this virtual public meeting were published on the TxDOT website. The notices appeared in the Port Arthur News in English, Spanish, and Vietnamese on Saturday, September 12, 2020. The notice in Spanish was published in the El Perico on Sunday, September 13, 2020. In addition, notices were mailed to adjacent property owners and elected public officials. TxDOT is encouraging written comments. Comments must be received or postmarked by Friday, October 9, 2020 to be included in the Virtual Public Meeting Summary Report. You can submit written comments in the following ways. Email your comments to bmtprojects at txdot.gov. Mail your comments to TxDOT Project Manager, Texas Department of Transportation, 8350 East Texas Freeway, Beaumont, Texas, 77708. Submit your comments online. Visit www.txdot.gov. In the search text dot box in the upper right hand corner, enter US69 slash SH73 interchange. Click on the Submit Your Comments button at the top right of the page or click on the email link at the bottom of the page. Again, most importantly, please be sure to submit your written comments no later than Friday, October 9, 2020, which is 15 days after the September 24, 2020 virtual public meeting. The responses to your comments submitted during the comment period will be included in the Virtual Public Meeting Summary Report. This report will be posted to the TxDOT website within the next few months. We appreciate your understanding with this comment process. Now, let's start talking about the project details. The project area is along U.S. Highway 69 from 39th Street north to Jimmy Johnson Boulevard, 75th Street, and State Highway 73 from Spur 215 East to 9th Avenue near Port Arthur in Jefferson County. The improvements would extend along U.S. Highway 69 for approximately 2.6 miles and along State Highway 73 for approximately 2 miles. This aerial photograph shows the existing cloverleaf interchange as it is today. For orientation purposes, Main A Canal is the water body shown at the right bottom corner of the screen. US 69 exists as an access controlled north south divided highway with discontinuous frontage roads. It has two 12 foot wide travel lanes in each direction with 10 foot wide outside shoulders and 2 foot wide inside shoulders. The travel directions are separated by a 2 foot wide concrete barrier. A grade separated diamond interchange exists at Jimmy Johnson Boulevard with turnarounds. SH-73 exists as an access-controlled east-west divided highway with discontinuous frontage roads. SH-73 has two 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction, 10-foot wide outside shoulders.
and three foot wide inside shoulders. The travel directions are separated by a two foot wide concrete barrier. However, between Main A Canal and 9th Avenue, SH 73 is divided by a grass median with three foot wide inside shoulders. Great separated diamond interchanges exist at 9th Avenue and at Spur 215 with U-turn lanes at 9th Avenue. There are no frontage roads within the Cloverleaf interchange. There is approximately a 700-foot long auxiliary lane between each of the loop entrance and exit gores for weave movements. TxDOT is proposing to change the existing interchange from a Cloverleaf design to a turbine design. The proposed project would improve safety, mobility, and connectivity to Port Arthur by removing the existing cloverleaf and modernizing the interchange to meet current TxDOT design standards. The proposed turbine design would eliminate the short weave patterns within the existing cloverleaf. The TxDOT 2013-2017 crash data shows approximately 225 crashes occurred in the weave areas of the cloverleaf with over 70 crashes occurring along SH-73 north of US-69. US 69 SH 73 crash data exhibits are available for viewing online at www.txdot.gov. Search US 69 SH 73 interchange. The average daily traffic for year 2018 is 54,500 vehicles per day. It is projected to increase to 75,500 vehicles per day in 2038 and 86,000 vehicles per day in 2048. TxDOT also provides additional traffic analysis including level of service data online at www.txdot.gov keyword search US69 slash SH73 interchange. This rendering shows the proposed turbine design for the proposed project, which is a spiral type design. For orientation, Main A Canal is a water body at the lower right corner of the screen. Although a turbine design is not a new concept, it may not be as familiar as a cloverleaf design, so the Beaumont District Project Development Team developed a 3D flight-through video entitled US69 SH73 Interchange Animation Video. The video with audio is available to view online by visiting www.txdot.gov and using the keyword US69 slash SH73 Interchange. Let's look at more details about the proposed project. The proposed project elements would include improving main lines and frontage roads, constructing the reconnectors and ramps, widening and or replacing bridges, constructing retaining walls and installing guide signs. The existing right-of-way would accommodate the new configuration. The US-69 right-of-way width varies from 300 to 370 feet and the SH-73 right-of-way width varies from 230 to 400 feet. No additional right-of-way would be required, therefore, no displacements would occur. Actions within the 100-year floodplain are proposed. However, the extent of the proposed impact is not determined at this time. However, design of this proposed project will be conducted in accordance with the TxDOT's Hydraulic Design Manual. Adherence to the TxDOT Hydraulic Design Manual ensures that this project would not result in a significant encroachment as defined by FHWA's rules. Coordination with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Galveston District, is currently underway to determine their permitting requirements since construction is proposed within wetlands. The proposed project would replace the four cloverleaf loops with direct connectors. The proposed US-69 southbound to SH-73 eastbound direct connector will be 40 feet wide, consisting of two 12-foot wide lanes with a 6-foot wide inside shoulder and a 10-foot wide outside shoulder. The US-69 northbound to SH-73 westbound, SH-73 eastbound to US-69 northbound, and SH-73 westbound to US-69 southbound would each be a 30-foot wide roadway having one 14-foot travel lane with a 6-foot wide inside shoulder and a 10-foot wide outside shoulder. Proposed at-grade ramps would provide direct connection to US-69 southbound to SH-73 westbound, SH-73 eastbound to US-69 southbound, and SH-73 westbound to US-69 northbound. These ramps would vary from 30-foot to 40-foot wide to provide two 12-foot wide lanes merging to one 14-foot wide lane with a 6-foot inside shoulder and a 10-foot wide outside shoulder. The existing at-grade ramp for US-69 northbound to SH-73 eastbound would be removed. The US-69 bridge over Main A Canal would be widened to provide a receiving lane for the SH-73 westbound to US-69 southbound direct connector. Within the turbine interchange, 
SH-73 main lanes will be fully reconstructed, including the bridge overpassing US-69. As stated earlier, the existing at-grade ramp for US-69 northbound to SH-73 eastbound would be removed. For US-69 northbound traffic to access SH-73 eastbound, the US-69 northbound traffic would use the SH-73 westbound direct connector to the Grove Savannah Avenue exit and make a turnaround through the intersection to travel east, and then enter SH-73 eastbound and proceed east toward Groves. Guide signs would be installed to alert the driver. Let's also show typical sections, or what the typical design would look like, for the proposed project. This typical section shows SH-73 with the interchange at US-69 in the background. Oncoming traffic in this illustration is traveling west to Winnie. At this location, the roadway would include two 12-foot main lanes in each direction, a 14-foot auxiliary lane, 6-foot inside shoulders, and 10-foot outside shoulders. This typical section design illustrates SH-73 approaching the turbine interchange. Oncoming traffic in this location is traveling east toward Groves. This illustration shows a typical section design of US-69 with the interchange at SH-73 in the background. Oncoming traffic in this illustration is traveling north to Beaumont. This view of US-69 with the interchange at SH-73 in the background shows oncoming traffic traveling south to Port Arthur. In this illustration, we see the elevated portions of the turbine intersection with varying lane widths. Traffic in this typical section is traveling through the intersection and either east to Groves or north to Beaumont. Or traffic is veering right to enter the US-69 southbound main lanes to head south to Port Arthur. In this illustration, we see the elevated portions of the turbine intersection with varying lane widths. Traffic in this typical section is traveling through the intersection and either west to Winnie or south to Port Arthur, or traffic is veering right to enter the US-69 northbound main lanes to head north to Beaumont. And please remember that you can view these images in more detail in the Text.website. website. The proposed project is consistent with the Southeast Texas Regional Planning Commission Metropolitan Planning Organization efforts. This includes the Metropolitan Transportation Plan 2045 for the Jefferson Orange Harding Regional Transportation Study Area and their 2019-2022 Transportation Improvement Program. The proposed project will be funded with a combination of federal and state funds. The estimated total project cost is approximately $77.1 million. We wanted to also highlight the estimated project timeline. Look for the green We Are Here arrow, which indicates where we are in the project process right now. Following the virtual public meeting, the environmental studies and preliminary engineering will continue with environmental approval anticipated this winter. However, final design is anticipated to be completed in spring 2021 and then followed by the initiation of the construction process. The construction process includes the bid process and construction contract. If the project is approved, then the construction contract award will be anticipated to occur in the summer 2021. Construction is expected to be completed in approximately three years. Because the timeline is an estimate and could change, we'll feature more information about how to stay informed. We encourage the public to stay informed about the project in the following ways. First, sign up to receive email updates. Visit www.txdot.gov and in the upper right-hand corner, enter US69 slash SH73 interchange in the search box. Click on the project page and then click on the upper right-hand button called subscribe to updates. When there is a project update, an email will be sent to you. We also invite you to view the various project materials on the Texas website. For example, exhibits that allow you to see the design features up close are available online. Do not hesitate to contact the Beaumont District Office with any questions. You can contact the Beaumont District by calling 409-892-7311 with any questions or comments. 
And don't forget to click on these links and follow us on Twitter for ongoing road closures and construction updates on the Beaumont District Twitter page. You can also keep up with TxDOT News on our Facebook page. TxDOT is committed to obtaining public feedback about this project. Let's take a moment to recap how to submit your written comments. Comments must be received or postmarked by Friday, October 9, 2020 to be included in the Virtual Public Meeting Summary Report. You can submit written comments in the following ways. Email your comments to bmtprojects at txdot.gov. Mail your comments to Text.Project Project Manager, Texas Department of Transportation, 8350 East Tex Freeway, Beaumont, Texas, 77708. Submit your comments online. Visit www.txdot.gov. In the search text.bot box in the upper right hand corner, enter US 69 slash SH73 interchange. Click on the Submit Your Comments button at the top right of the page or click on the email link at the bottom of the page. Again, most importantly, please be sure to submit your written comments no later than Friday, October 9, 2020. The responses to your comments submitted during the comment period will be included in the Virtual Public Meeting Summary Report. This report will be posted to the TxDOT website within the next few months. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to submit your written comments by Friday, October 9, 2020. And remember to view the project information that's available online. Thank you again and please stay safe. This concludes our video presentation.